Yo. Man to the level, mostly. For the favorite. <clears throat> because my clock kind of off. And me, me think me go, me, me not go live at no than I'm a regular time then. But I thought cross my mind earlier today, well it's, it's it's something that recurs. And today well I go to the airport. Me there there Bologna and you know. Me there Italy. And me I play in a Bologna tonight. Me just a come from me I come from in the UK. Me oh this the name of me there, like Coventry last night. And when they check in at the airport. And I couldn't help but I couldn't help but have the conversation in my head like I got from security directly into the shopping mall that is behind it. And the shopping mall is the most sophisticated part of the airport, up to date. Sparkly. Really sparkly. It's a shopping mall. It's a small area but them they make like a chicken run for we. For guide we. In our spiral, so that we loop through all of the products with myself. Products we then just take out our bag and dash because we not allowed for care them in. Now let me tell you this. You have you have some people who, because of what they assume to be their academic prowess, ally themselves with what sounds the most sophisticated. And them decide to become herders of us. Not realizing that they're one of us. They are of us. When we talk about the system and we question the system, we notice you have so little people where we feel like them, the, the, the alphabet where them put back in front of them name mean shit to me. It really no mean shit to me. And it no mean nothing in the grand scheme of things. It doesn't. So when I talk about the system, I me just point out things that I see. We look anomalous. Things when I look natural. Things when I make sense. The one plus one when I equal the two where it's sitting side up. Where I pretend so one and one another day and like we can't see say a tree that. Them something there. You have some people and surprisingly a lot of those people are turning up as Rasta. I notice that some of them people you know, are present as Rasta. Whereas Rasta used to challenge the system, now you have a lot of Rasta. We are called people idiot and dunce for not bowing to the system, trimming the ear and go find something else for each and pan. Because for the life of me, I can't understand why Rasta on a pick. Yeah. You boy from Florida or wherever you come from, where under every post and every comment, I put some wordy, double B words worth amount of material and that shit. Go trim. Go trim. You know, belong. You see, them, you have a few of them with them that sell out the entire population. For a pork chop, you know, and a raster, shave off your head, clean it off like when my eyebrows are supposed to be. Clean it, because it's not a raster, it's a punky dread. When them say we are security, liquid oppose security threat, and them take away liquid them. And them true know with that for a couple of years. Take away liquid them and for the life of we, we can't see why we hear say the liquid them can make explosive and then can do this. But nobody no give you nothing cemented, no concrete reason rooted in any fact, scientific or otherwise, why we can't walk through with, with water. For a couple of years, them, them, them train with that. And then, them roll out new building them. Full blood clad shopping mall. So this morning, we come through security and them take away one little bottle of hydrogen peroxide. More work with hydrogen peroxide. From time to time, use it, brush my teeth, gargle my throat, it's good for bacteria. Right? Forget rid of bacteria. And them take away my hydrogen peroxide. They nearly take away my toothpaste. I'm like, well, in England, no like brushing my teeth. When I really fucking hate oral hygiene. Anyway, I'm obliged to me keep my toothpaste. But I take out the little bottle of hydrogen peroxide, a little bit over the 100 milliliter. 
and him take away one Vix vapor rub. One, yeah, Vix vapor rub one me use for steam because it couldn't fit in a tiny little bag. Bag where him give me he take things him out of my bag and put them in one little bag. I could have sure I did one one liter bag, them he say, but no, this he bag shrink. Got the bag there, I can't one liter. Me use the plug container, container all the while, right? I don't talk to you, because I'm not in America. And I take the things, and I'm, and I'm definitely not talking to you. Left the TSA work at them alone, they my employees, they do their job. But when I pass through security, they take a little liquid from me. You know what I sell in I? You know what I sell in a the airport shopping mall? Frag said. Frag said I sell in there. So, they take a little tiny container. Tiny container. And then I walk five steps past security. And I can buy one two liter bottle of rum. I can buy one big bottle of cologne I can fly with. The Vix I did. The Vix, uh, uh, you know, Vix our gel. I know liquid alone, liquid and gel. And more while I have a problem with powders too. But when I keep thinking that this have some deep meaning where somebody have to be an intellectual genius for see. It's commerce. It's just business. And it's business as usual. I just business. Five steps away. You can buy everything then take from you. So obviously nothing wrong with nothing then take from you. Five steps away. And the only reason why this keeps advancing is because you don't comply. One somebody can stand up to this. One somebody can stand up to this. It's going to take everybody everywhere to realize what's going on and be like, no, this don't make no sense. And just chill. Take a week. You don't need to take to the streets and make no black car. You don't need to make no police shot you with no rubber, rubber bullet or no real bullet. You just need to stay home. 2020 then tell us to stay away. Yard. They never give you a chance to prepare. Nothing. They assume so we're good. Now make we come together and supply each other what we need to stay away. Yard. And we take a week and be like, until we not fix this, we're not, we're not budge. Now we take a, a week or take a weekend. If we don't do this, 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 we're going to take a week. If we don't keep on a complaint, we can't tell this, you know. <laughs> we're going to get together in a concentration camp, but I'm going to be one where I laugh, because I'll be like, pussy, you know, me am telling you so. And you know, I love the I told you so, right? I love the I told you so. I'm a kid. Them way there. This now make no sense. You can't tell me say any of this makes sense to you. Say you just walk through security right there, so. Do remember, 2000 and, was it 2001? When them say, ah, I play like a building. Why well, forgot to make you take off your shoes? Why well, forgot to take away your cologne? Why well, forgot to take away your water? You can't come through with your own bottle of water again. You can't come through with nothing. But if you really need it badly on the flight, See ya, I can sell you some around here, so. And then make some big fucking shopping mall. May I tell you, say, you go to some city, and you're not going to find a mall as big and sophisticated as the one in the airport the other day. May I tell you that? A commerce and the things I mean, they're more expensive than outside because they're renting the extra dear. This is commerce. And you all keep attaching religious undertones to what is merely greed and commerce. Greed-driven commerce. Short-sighted commerce. Selfish, unthinking, unfeeling commerce. I want to keep attaching spiritual and otherworldly shit to it. And that's why I can't solve the problems. Because I don't refuse to see each other as on self. I do no greedy. I do no take advantage. I do no look for any opportunity. But Uno can get over upon each other. And that them I do, just on a much grander scale. 
It's not that deep. Just look on it. Just think. It's not opportunistic. It is not opportunistic. It is greedy and selfish. Call a spirit a spirit. So what do you think making you sick is about? Making you sick is about selling your medication. Healthy people don't make the pharmaceutical industry no money. I want to keep arguing with each other and may, may half the time of my life I laugh after the, I laugh after the, the pseudo, the so-called smart people, you know. The smart people, they really fuck with, you know. And it's not even fun. They're not even giving you no know, foreplay and no warm up. No, no, the smart people out here are enable with oppressors. The smart people are who have we in another position. Yeah. I don't really want to put this in a long time now because I need to sleep for later show. I'm tired. Shana K, you tell them about the Irish mass, how much of them start drink it. The mother run go in the pharmacy, go buy something, I'll give them some side effects, or send them back in the pharmacy. Go buy something, I'll give them some side effects, or send them back in the pharmacy. Go buy something, I'll give them some more side effects, or send them back in the pharmacy. Go buy something else and take it, or give them more side effects, or send them back in the pharmacy. And set a blood clot, idiot. And then when people tell them the son of a drink, but she don't look down upon them like when they're smart. When they're down smart. When they're not smart. When they're not smart. I mean, I care how no one feel about me. You can't look at me and call me anything. A boy, I look an idiot boy. I see him at that show and I say something about artists in an empty place and something. I show them good. Big up everybody who come out to me show them. Big up everybody who come out to me show them. I tell you this. You see, even if I play in an empty place, I don't feel now yet. Me not, them something don't bother me. And I tell you some people forgot trim because some rest and understand themselves. So when me walk out, you know, when you have five people in the come for see me, you know, I go out there with... Gratitude cause five people left the yard for going to see me. Fortunately, I've never had to play to five people. But if I did five people, then they would more than respect and rate them the less. Because of five people they don't owe me shit. So I'm the panel there and first of all, Europe big up on yourself. This is my last winter tour. I now come back out here in the winter because I don't have things I don't give to me. Somebody give me something, I go out in the crowd and I and take picture and people hug me and then give me some blood clot kiss me, me, and I have to I sit down and feel the kiss them pin and palm me till I reach out and for and scrub myself. Like, you know, if you understand this, I don't scan on you, but you don't have things. You see, when I have things, I have the social responsibility for you know, I don't go near nobody. I don't. Even when my things are not communicable, you see, it not, not, not easily and quickly communicable. If I even when I have Depression or I feel sad. I don't go near people because I don't want, want to infect them with it. I don't want to infect them with it. But, when you come out, and when you hug, and, and the love one that show me, I go kill me. So I can't do no more winter tour. Winter is no my season. And you see me, I have natural immunity. And when you have unnatural things, we seriously are compromised. My, my health. I me, me, me take an out and I really have a lot of bush and something. I mean, never expect this, so I never walk with a lot of bush and something. So I feel compromise. Me get better? Well, get better enough for the show them, but I not completely better. And when I go home, I go dose myself in the almond leaf and papa leaf and shit and, and some guinea and uh, everything with me, I go take. Well, who do not like tech? Because you don't feel like you're more sophisticated than your granny. But when your granny never have a shit you don't have, try remember that. When your granny lift the and never have the complications that you don't have. Yeah? But me, I wonder, it cannot be that I am seeing more than you guys are seeing. It can't be. It has to be so in a denial. It has to be so full of level of cognitive dissonance. So fucking astronomical that Uno can't extricate yourself from this knot. Uno type in Uno not see it. Tell me, say you can't say you walk through security. 
and then take away your water and that shit right in front of you. And then you go and say you can buy 10 gallons of water. Tell me say you can't see it. Tell me say you don't see nothing wrong with that. Tell me. Then bring in a machine where I used to swirl around me. I used to opt out of the machine. I opt out of the machine because I don't know what the machine is going to do to me. In a 10 years, now I know to say the machine is gone. Nobody not tell me why it come. Nobody not tell me why it gone. The machine gone. I used to opt out and it take me so much longer. A couple times when I'm late for catch a connection or something. Me have to just run through it. I'm a, I'm a big universe do. No make that something to fuck me up because me no know how much new cancer I come out or how many rare cancers will suddenly become common when me are susceptible to. Because I don't trust you humans. It's a fact. I just don't. I may have a damn good reason for don't trust you no humans because you have proven time and time again so you're not trustworthy. And we can't be counted on for move as a unit. We don't think we don't have to be friends for move as a unit. We don't have to be friends. You just have to have the same goal. You just have to have the same goal. Well, sometimes them say they don't want to take something more boil up, but they don't can't do their own boil. Fridge, they can't do their own boil up, you know. Them don't know nothing in a, in a pharmacy. So you, let me tell you something that uh, scare me these days. Pharmacy come with something, the pharmaceutical industry come with something, and you say, why not? And then you say, you don't know why not body where you take. You don't know why not drinks where you drink. Like, what kind of production line them idiot here come off of? Number one, the main problem we have another idiocy, you know. And then they in sense of entitlement. They feel like they're entitled for encroach by every single aspect of the rest of our life. So if me make a choice, them feel like they can't go override it because they're smart. You see, yeah, what the worst thing they ever do to you nigga them, I make them start read. I mean, I go take that back. Because the moment we start learning to read, some of we, when they take the master treatment and they happy for be all slave, take the reading and turn it back into the same blood clot thing. So once they learn free, and, and trust me, I am a big promoter of education. And I can't tell you how much school fee me pay when I don't make, when I know them and I can't remember them. But I still think one of the worst things will happen to me is education. Because we take this uh, miseducation here. Uh, and turn it into our religion. And use it as another way for ostracize and criminalize each other. So a man who don't have the alphabet in front or back of his name can't ask no question. Like you have to qualify for ask a question. You can't just live here. A man who feel like he's smart, think he have the right for just care anything come, push it near your mouth, push it near your vein, push it near any part of you. Because you're not a sense to so just take this. We know a loving species. We know a nice species and we don't think. We don't think. We don't move as a herd. We like herd people. But we don't move as a herd. So the herd in what we do is <clears throat> not like we. The wild animal them do and them pick them they herd and they and, and them breed and have their herd and stick together. The herd in what we do is like what the farmer do. When poke and prod the animal them together and lead them and tell them a figure. Our herd in the natural. I'm tired. I'm brain tired. I'm brain tired. I'm just now believe like at this point in a 2000, almost 23, I don't understand, me not, me not understand myself really. I mean, I understand why I'm still disappointed in the humans. You don't know. Because humans have never given me any reason for have hope in them. That's the truth. Every now and again, you see one little packet of something good come out. But generally speaking, 
we've only been self-destructive. The good things that come out in the pockets have never been allowed to step to the fore. Never. It's always been the self-destructive behaviors we take precedence over everything else. And it's always been the dumbest of us. Dumb as fucking bricks. We take the podium loudest, strongest. Humans are not perfect. I wouldn't say humans aren't perfect. I'd say humans are mostly shit. I don't put my hope and faith in man who created nothing. Man creates a lot. Everything where they saw man created. And don't bring God coming to my conversation. Because this is not church. You want to talk about God, go somewhere else. Exit. We are talking about people and taking responsibility for our individual and collective actions. We right here, so. Yeah? We right here, so. I do this. And a we me I talk about. So if you want to talk about something otherworldly, go on which part of the discussion that take place. This is our next thing where we're tired and we need to stop doing you know? Stop trying to force yourself into places where you don't belong. Get rid of the rape culture. Get rid of the rape culture where no dogs are invited, no bones or blood clad provided. Me I talk about people over here, so. God no create everything yes so. We did. And when it goes wrong, we have given us ourselves the indemnity of a Satan. We give ourselves a Satan, so anytime we think them go wrong, we can blame Satan. And by that extension, by the same extension, when things go good, we have to, we have to give the, the, the glory to God. Because we don't want to take responsibility for the things that go wrong. So as long as we're going to give Satan the things that go wrong, we're half to give God the things that go right. But may I tell you this right now. The things that may go wrong, I don't know how to do it. I know Satan. Who know? The morning when you wake up and decide to say, you'll stop being a pussy hole, you won't be a pussy hole anymore. And Satan can't force you to be a pussy hole if you don't want. And you'll do it. Stand up and take responsibility for your fucking actions, them. And stop trying to hide back a deity and otherworldly creatures. And who know how to do it? Who know? And the things that you know how to do, you yeah, permit, you yeah, excuse, you yeah, allow. So you're still apartheid. You're still apartheid. No matter how you want to look on it. You still are a part of it. Yeah? The unfortunate thing is that we can't just each take one little place on earth and go there with like-minded people and lock out the rest of you know. And see from over there and watch you know, fuck on yourself to death, you know. Unfortunate. So we have to share space. So we keep trying to have these conversations with you know, but on the two Lord clot on the ego so fucking big and fragile. May I watch study after study after study get peer-reviewed and published. And people still are say conspiracy theory and quack and anti-science. Bumbo clot, peer-reviewed and, pre and published no mean nothing again. Science has become a monotone. And everything points in one direction for me. Commerce. We are slaves. And some of you will think you know better. You know, know say we are a slave. But you know, think you know, they higher up in a hierarchy. You know, have about five minutes left in a cosmic time. About five minutes left. If you find out, say, well, I will see a place. And when you find out, it will be too blood clot late. It's a last piece of illusion. A strip away. Last fucking piece. This is your last chance. If you stand up for something. Sensible and instead of that you to pretend. Pretend. You think it can really stop though? 
even on a personal level, isn't the best we can hope for us to try. And when we fall short, we take responsibility, regroup, and make the adjustments. You read that back and you ask yourself that and you want to say. When you decide, say, you go out in a town, I try, you try, you walk out there. You tell me, say, you get up in the morning and you try to not be a pussy and you can't achieve that. <laughs> Love me, yeah, man. Love me. And you make every decision where you make if you lift up your hand and move it and put it somewhere. The one them way, I know you responsible for the things that people do to you. You take responsibility for your actions. Because when you get up this morning and decide to be a pussy, well, I don't see it and decide that. And I see it and decide that. You decide that. When you see somebody with their last fucking, their last dollar, and your teeth it, I see it and lift up your hand, and make your finger then pick it up. No? Hey, you. You not blame Satan. You don't left Satan alone. Satan tired down. Tired. Morning, DJ Lucy. Yo, me, me can't me look for the place and alright, so this is my last winter tour. Because I can't manage school. And me could have managed school now, but I can't manage school combined with the people. Because <laughs> the people don't I tell you one other piece of irony with my book. A short while ago. If you sneeze in a public, people want to chop you up to smithereens. And right now, them back to sneezing in your face. Blood clot may hate the mask. I don't like wear it and I don't wear it. But to some extent, I kind of wouldn't mind if you don't keep your mask. Keep your mask. I'm not nasty. This is nothing to do with the killer virus or the matter. I'm not just fucking nasty. You just open your mouth and just sneeze right now my face. And you know you have something. And you put your spit right down my throat. Nasty. Nothing for do with them and them fucker them I do. Hmm? So I don't want somebody to come from outside. Come create one, some kind of panacea and give that I think we don't know you know. We don't always want to take a pill. I always want to take a blood clot pill and then play like you know, a victim when they pill you know. You know, I always want a pill so they pill you know. And that's exactly what they're doing right now. They're a pill you know. And the biggest bumble clot pill, on the throat so big, I don't know. You know, can't even give blow job. On the throat, can't lock on nobody. Biggest throat you know, have cada pill ya. Yeah? One swallow every day. I mean, sit down and watch all some people and I know what I think of sense. We're buying to this. Some people I don't know, but I think they have sense. We're buying to, to this. I mean, I look like, all right, first of all, I really and truly not think my smartest. I've never thought I was the smartest person in the room. I'm not going to them kind of dunce room there. I assume at no point I'm the smartest person in the room. But now that make me feel like if you look at people I'm a lie with a son genius. I mean no, we are not genius. We know we are not genius, we're just honest. Why not take this? We don't force we if you have to take this car, we don't outnumber we buy enough for the masses. Uno cause this power. I don't like you know. Everything we don't comply with we don't end up and make force. The one time I see you stand up, Jamaica, by the way, thank you to blood clot because 80% of you know, say suck your mother. And I really fucking appreciate that. But then I come back again and this time they come back a little bit more covert. Because the last time they, they try to bully and then they realize they never work. And I tell you this, it bruise their ego. Because their ego fragile and big, just big and fragile. But they will come back again. And they will come back now. I notice they try you know. They look, they, and then some fucking teeth. That means no one get good budget for lunch. Then fuck we have power because I slavery them up between.